OSBI is calling on the public tonight after a man was found dead in his home. The discovery was made this morning in Binger after the man's door was left wide open. Kaylee Bourgeois is live at OSBI headquarters with the latest. Kaylee. Sylvia, a tip is actually what led investigators to find out there was a homicide in the first place. And now a tip could be what helps them solve it. Nice guy. Nice guy. Brenda Lehman works at the dollar store in Binger. She says 57-year-old Randy Gathers would come in every day. He bought his groceries here and he loved matchbox trucks little pickup trucks. So when Gathers stopped coming in Thursday, Lehman and her co-workers took notice. He had not been back in the store. Uh, my manager and assistant manager started to worry and they and they called the chief of police and asked him to check on him. Binger police went to Gathers home this morning and found the door open. Inside, they found Gathers dead. He was found this morning at about 8.20. We got here, worked through the scene. Um, we have determined that it is a homicide. OSBI Special Agent Danny Sanders was called in to help police. While he knows this is a homicide, it's undetermined yet if it was indeed a break-in or, more importantly, who killed Gathers. There are some things that, that need to be processed, and, and that can take some time. Um, so really what we're hoping for is somebody that that's out there that has information that's going to help. Anyone who knows where Gathers used to go, who he's been seen with, where he went this week. Anyone with any information whatsoever, even if they don't think that the information is necessarily significant, we would still like to hear from them. I just hope they find whoever did this. As for Layman, she wants the killer caught too, for Gathers' sake and her community's safety. I mean, what's the sense to take someone's life like that? I can't understand. And if you do have tips, you can reach out to the OSBI at their email address or their phone number, both of those in this story right now on the News 9 app. At the OSBI headquarters, Kaylee Bourgeois, Oklahoma's own News 9.